director's job? Well, the director's job is, you know, I mean, if you've written a script, is to prepare, you know, visually for the whole movie, to know what you're, you, you're, you're going for, to get everybody on the same page, uh, design-wise, color-wise, uh, uh, music-wise, uh, you know, to, uh, and to be able to, you know, to make the days work, you know, and to, 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 to have a vision that doesn't get watered down, because it can get watered down very easily when they have so many different, you know, people that you're trying to bring together. You know, you want them to contribute, but can also be, they can also take it in, a, in another road, you know, in, in another path. And I've, I've, I've heard it that said happen. that every department of every movie tends to think the movie is about their department. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, the sound guy, he always thinks like, well, you know, I didn't hear that, you know what I mean? <laughs> he usually gets treated the worst, the sound guy. Why? You know, uh, because sound came in after. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, because literally when movies were made, yeah, the hierarchy came, was created? It, it came in after. It came in after. To this day, you, you people like, the sound guy's, wait a second. And they're like, ah, forget him. You know what I mean? He, he doesn't, you know. <laughs> and they're always like the most. Uh, <laughs> it's called movies, not soundies. Yeah, that's right. Um, but I mean. Uh, you and know, you can loop it if you had to. That's right. I mean, there's all kinds of directors. Some directors micromanage everything. Some give you a certain amount of freedom, you know. But you know when you're in the hands of someone huh. who, who knows what they're going for. When it's indecisive, then you, you say, well, how many choices can I make to them? You know what I mean? And, uh, and sometimes people, when they first direct, they, they get carried away because they, they want to keep doing it over and over and over again. Like, you know, I work with Robert De Niro as a director, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, he likes to just keep doing it. You know what I mean? And I don't mind doing a lot of takes, but, yeah. I mean, I would be like chewing gum. In a, I, in the, I did The Good Shepherd in like 40 takes. I'd be chewing gum. And I, you know, I'm chewing gum saying, hey, hey Stephen, how you doing? Hey, Stephen, how you doing? You know? And then Bob would come over, you know, came over to me after 40 takes. But, John, you know, were you, uh, were you chewing gum? And I was like, yes, Bob, I was chewing gum. I said, you want me not to chew the gum? And he goes, no, 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 I just want to. <laughs> you were chewing gum, right? I, I was chewing gum. He goes, do it again. He goes, do it again. I, said, I told him one day, I said, I'm glad I'm, glad I'm not your girlfriend, man. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not your girlfriend. You know? And I, I love Bob. He's a great sure. guy. But he, sure. he just, he wanted so much. You know, sometimes I yeah. told him, I said, after 10 takes, Bob, I, I get bad. Now I'm bad. I said, the now, next I'm, ten, now I'm bad? Yeah, now I'm going to get worse. Now I'm going to get self-conscious. I gave you 10 different choices. Did he's doing that on purpose, you think? To kind of drive you no, through badness back to goodness again? I, just, I think he, just, he was enjoying directing, you know? And, uh, I, mean, I mean, I literally tortured this guy in The Good Shepherd. Uh, I had one line, what's your name? And then the guy who was our advisor was in the CIA, and, uh, uh, and uh, Mill Pearden. And he was, a, you know... Very interesting man and very helpful, but he showed what you would do when you're, and I, and the guy I was, the actor I was working with was from the Israeli army, thank God, because I basically tortured him for three days. <laughs> I mean, I, I basically waterboarded, I mean, I waterboarded him. I, you know, he had a mask on and you drowned the guy. Yeah. I mean, I, I kept telling him, tap me when you're choking, because I, I felt like I was going to pass out, you know, but Bob was like, you got to keep doing it, you know. Just, <laughs> it, I mean, the whole crew, after three days, I mean, it's a really good scene in the movie, but the crew was like going out of their minds. Because all I was saying to the guy was, what's your name? Tell me your name. Come on, give me your name. Then I would hit him, then I would cut his, take his clothes. I mean, I just went on for days. But Bob was like, he never got tired of it. He was like, <laughs> he was like, he was Is great. this why you don't want to be his no, girlfriend? No, I, say, I, I told him, I say, he's like, see, he goes, just you know, hit him a couple times, John. I was like, all right. A couple times, just do a series. I was like, a series, you know? Like, if you're gonna hit a guy and you're not really hitting him and the guy's here and you know, you gotta go all the way through, you gotta really, you know, your arm will you know, wind it up, go through and not hit the guy, you know? Yeah. You do that 400 times after a while, and he would say, do a series. I said, well, how many times do you want me to hit him in the series? He goes, I don't know, eight. <laughs> he goes, 